All right, so I'm back with another video from our reaction to our loss to the Chicago Bears. Now, I didn't watch the entire game. I had to work the next day, so I watched the first half, and apparently I didn't really miss much going on in that second half because we got our asses kicked. But nevertheless, I want to talk about this article that I came across here on Fox Sports talking about, well, asking the question, did Bill Belichick ruin Mac Jones's confidence in the Patriots' loss? Now, as I've been stating, I believe that our offense was flowing prior to the Chicago game, and I don't feel that we should have lost to Chicago prior to going in that game. But after seeing the way that Justin Fields was moving the ball, I thought, at least for when Mac Jones was out there, it was going to be a long night. It turned out that that was actually a correct feeling. But anyway, the Patriots offense was rolling prior to this game. And I just said that Mac Jones needed to knock some rust off, be able to get into the flow of the offense, and then be able to continue to go forward. And it's like a plug and play situation. That didn't ultimately happen. He was still very rusty. Now, I will say this. Mac Jones's mobility in the pocket, he showed some great, some something I necessarily didn't even see before. He was moving around and getting out, getting out of that pocket when he felt uncomfortable. And he was sliding, making sure he picked up a lot of yards. He was moving, he was moving the chains on those first two series. The third series where he threw the pick, he threw it off his back foot, falling backwards. It was just a dumb throw. He should have threw it away or try to move up field. He should have kept that, you know, anticipation up to try to move out of that pocket. That was just a dumb throw on it. So it was really an idiotic play. And that's why he, you know, Bill Belichick won't necessarily come to and say, yeah, that's why I sat him, but that's that's why he sat him. And it, as soon as Bill Bailey Zappi got in the game, it was instant, like an instant spark. And I think that's, I believe that's what Bill Belichick was looking for. And everybody in the Patriots Gillette Stadium was excited. You know, that was that was exactly what we needed. And then Bailey Stappy, from what I was reading and witnessing online, kind of just crumbled in that second half. But let's read along this article and let's see what they got to say about Mac Jones's confidence going forward after being benched. So it says the Patriots started Mac Jones in his first game back after missing three weeks due to a high, due to a high ankle sprain but quickly pulled him after he threw an interception on his third drive of the game. Bailey Zappi came in, led the Patriots to two quick touchdown drives, but struggled for the rest of the game, throwing two interceptions in the second half and losing a, a fumble before halftime. While Jones's benching appeared to be a performance-based build, Belichick said it wasn't. In fact, he told ESPN before the game that he planned to play both quarterbacks on Monday night and reiterated that he was going to play both in the second half. Now, like I said, I didn't watch the second half, but I tend to lean to believe Bill Belichick in this instance because there was so much conversation around Bailey Zappi potentially replacing Mac Jones that Bill Belichick almost had to see what was really going to work. So I believe that he probably had an intentions on playing both Bailey Zappi and Mac Jones. But like I stated, he 100% pulled Mac Jones because he threw that interception and it was the third drive in which we got no points. That was definitely a performance-based situation, but he did it kind of early. But I kind of understand because at that point when he pulled Mac Jones, they were already up 10-0 and they were driving after that. So I get it. So let's keep on going. Now, Skip Bayless, it says Skip Bayless isn't buying that was Bill Belichick's plan, though, saying anybody who knows anything about football would disagree with this decision. And he goes on to say, quote, you cannot tell me that if Mac Jones had taken the ball the first two times he had it and gone to score touchdowns and it was 14-0, he's not going to put Bailey Zaki in, right? He's not going to do it. He would look like an even bigger fool than he did on Monday night. The point is he saw an opening because he went three and out three and out, and an interception. I'm going to the kid because this kid's got some magic about him. It's going to be zappy hour, and I'm going to get them all excited, end quote. I agree with Skip Bayless on that. That's exactly what I basically just said. He he pulled Mac Jones because of that interception. That's why Mac Jones was out of the game. 
It had nothing to do necessarily with him wanting to play both, but I do believe he would have played both. But like Skip said, if Mac Jones would have went down and scored 14 points, Bailey Zappi wasn't getting in the game. If, if Mac Jones goes down there and scores 21, 28 points, Bailey Zappi isn't getting in the game. It's, that's just common sense. But what do you think about Mac Jones's confidence going forward after being sat? I believe Mac Jones is self obviously confident. You make it to the NFL, you you have some confidence within yourself that you can do get the job done. But this could hurt if he doesn't pe perform well, especially coming off of a high ankle sprain an injury. Still going to be rusty because he never really got an opportunity to knock the rust off to get in the game. So what do you think about this article? What do you think about what Skip Bayless said? And what do you think about my comments on Mac Jones? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button on this video. I'll see you in the next clip.